we go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Come on back. Welcome aboard. Like I was saying, this is our dry season. Okay. April and May is actually brush fire season for the Everglades, and we've already had two wildfires in this county this year. Holy moly. So the little bit of water you see, and we're sitting in like an inch of water, we're not even floating, is uh, this is just about all tide. So it's a lot of saltwater fish and crab. Uh, my last tour, seen a couple of dolphins. It's a lot of sea life coming in. In the summertime, it's about two, two and a half feet deeper. June through October, it rains every day, and that's, that's the rainy season. Wow. It's more commonly referred to as hurricane so season, <laughs> but it rains every damn day. So the, the fresh water flow oh, no, coming off of these wetlands is real strong in the summer, and it keeps a lot of that tide pushed out. And that's when you have more freshwater fish, more alligators, more mosquitoes. So <laughs> all the mud gets covered? All the mud gets covered, sweetie, that's right. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, Jesus. Anybody else got to use the bathroom? You got to pump out. <laughs> yeah. Jason. Oh. Yes. your brother in law going in the bathroom. So I got you. I got you. Got you on camera. <laughs> you guys don't mind him. We can't do that anyway. Boat. The other day, I was sitting right there. And little boy asked me if I can. Right? I'm like, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Go back to the back of the boat. What does Haas do? Because right back, right in front of you, see that poor little kid. Oh my god, that's <laughs> like, so funny. But I see, he's like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are lucky as women. We just can't do that. Oh, so. I you can actually, and it's happening. We're on the side of the boat, too. Super <laughs> awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I purposely didn't drink anything before coming out here. I was like, that now, one cool thing about our tour is once we started that second creek, it is done. What kind of trees are those called mangroves? Those are mangroves, yeah. Okay. Mangroves are also what form the barrier islands. Okay. So all of our 10,000 islands are mangroves. And they thrive in the salt or the brackish water. Now, we're starting to come in a little bit. If you look, you see that little bit of little patch of grass there behind us. You can start to see little patches of grass popping up along the shore. You can even see the tops of some palm trees right out there to the east. Yeah, one of that. When you when you leave the coast, when you go from salt to brackish, and then from brackish to fresh, the vegetation will change. Okay. And once you get deeper into the Everglades, where the water's fresh all the time, instead of mangroves, you'll have cypress. That's your cypress swamps. Wow. And then the fresher water is also the really tall grass, like you see on TV a lot. Okay. It's a lot more CSI Miami, about eight miles that way. Okay. That's that wide open stuff, like you know they always put on the television shows. Do you like how much y'all are like flipping sideways? I'm glad we got that cleared up. <laughs> Very important. You know, at least I have. You've been learning one or that. Like cousins. They are, yeah. <laughs> Sibling, sibling, cousin. You know exactly where you're going. These are brothers. How old is the little girl? She is nine. Nine. Yep. We got almost good almost you double digits. Nine going on twenty-one. You don't like, you can bring them back to us. We have plenty of places to hide. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I may do it for Anybody you. Anybody that Emma. messes with her, she's got three, a brother and two cousins to take uh, care of her, and then another cousin on the other side. If you call uh, it taking care of her. <laughs> Or torturing her. Yeah. Torture her. Nobody else has. Once she reaches 18, she has to work from her own mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys ready to ride? Yep. Yeah. You got it. All right. Good luck over there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.